Welcome back to the Video Game Gambler. And today we have Caesar's Palace 2000 Millennium Gold Edition, made in, you guessed it, 2000 by Interplay. According to the case, it says, here you'll find the largest assortment of heart-pounding 3D gambling games ever under one roof. Experience first-class action on every visit with the friendliest atmosphere and the most experienced dealers in town. Indulge in world-class gaming action that includes blackjack, roulette, craps, video poker, poker challenge, Pai Gao Poker, Video Kino, Mini Baccarat, Red Dog, War, and Spanish 21. And there's more! Official Caesar's Palace rules, tutorial is tailored to your ability, casino odds and payouts verified by William Bertram, PhD. Authentic Caesar's Palace cars and chips. Keep the cash rolling with the easy loan from the cashier. And free inside Caesar's Palace Guide to Gaming Handbook. So I think the instruction booklet actually tells you how to play these games. So I am hoping that there's still, like, in-game instructions, kind of. That would be alright. But I thought I would give this a try, because the other day, I went on a, uh, just a video slot machine, and just so happened to win $50. And like any responsible uh, gambler would do, what did I spend the money on? More gambling, of course. And in this case, it was an assortment of gambling games. This being one of them. So, is Caesar's Palace 2000 Millennium Gold Edition worth a play? Who knows? Let's take a gamble. So let's start this up here. Ooh, we got a demo. Let's just get in here for the demo. I'm the demo. So we got new game. We don't need to save it right now. Add a player. My name is Mega Harv. Uh, not, not L. Okay, first off, I'm noticing the... The control stick is really sensitive, the, like the D-pad. Mega... Like a little... Like I push it down once, it tends to go two. So I'm not too keen on that. That might get annoying later. I hope it... Uh, I won't be keen on it in Kino, that's for sure. I Mega Harve. Okay, let's accept. And let's start a game. Active. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's just start with the card games. Move on. Start with good old blackjack. Let's just may as well stick with the low limit tables. We don't need all kinds of high roller money. All right, let's give this blackjack a turn or two. So we get ourselves some nice digitized hands here. Good old PlayStation speed bet. Yeah, let's speed bet. Ooh, words. A seven. You know, seventeen. He's got an ace. I should probably hit. Um, no. Insurance is a ripoff. No blackjack. Collecting insurance bets. Okay. Well, I know it's not a blackjack, so let's just stand. Let's stand while we stand. Oh, it's 20. That's fine. That is bound to happen. So let's, uh, let's just speed bet again. I don't need to get all fancy about it. Are you just going to give me... Okay, good. So let's hit on the 10. Because uh, if you're not hitting on 10s, what are you doing with your life? So let's hit. Mega Harv should have doubled. Oh, so we have a coach hand by. Nearby. Ah, uh, better hit again. I should have stood on a 13? Really? I mean, I guess. But he's got a 16. Yeah, you're right. Because if he has a 16, he has to hit. I probably should have. No, you're right. So yeah, let's stand on that. Yeah, we would have won anyway. So the, the coach was right. And that is a thing. Like, if, if you think they're going to have a 16, you may as well just stand. Because they'll probably go over. So let's just play a few more rounds. So far it seems alright. I like how there's a coach there. Might help you get ready for like some legit gambling. This this is not a good situation. We got a 16, a 7 showing. Uh, chances are he's going to get a 17, he's going to stand. But I'm going to stand. Okay, 13. This is too risky. 17. 
Let's do two. Do uh, let's do one more. One more. One more, then let's try some other games. We have a lot of games to get through, so no point in really, really putting the wood to it here. Okay, we got a 19 next to his three. Still not looking good, but there's no point in uh, hitting, so let's stand. So far, it seems like Blackjack is okay. Camera moves around. I like the, I like how there's a coach. So if you went to a casino, you might be a little more prepared. I won. And my name was all bouncing around. Got 2,000. But I'm, we're done here. So far, the Blackjack, at least one player must place a bet before play can begin. I, I want to, I want to, I'm done though. How do I, okay, return to lobby. I would love to quit. Quitting is for quitters. Let's go back into the card games. Oh, let's just do some mini Baccarat. I don't know what's so mini about it. Is there going to be two cards instead of three? Baccarat basically plays itself. All you got to do is bet the either that you'll win or the banker wins. The banker wins, it's a slightly... You don't win as much back, but... I think the odds are a little better. Um, speed bet. Honestly, I don't really know the whole deal with with Baccarat. Player must draw, player draw to five on Baccarat. Yeah, here's uh, here's the rules real quick. The player must take a third card. Actually, it's still pretty well automatic, so let's let it play. I'm gonna actually bet myself though instead of doing the speed bet. Okay, house one. So let's not do a speed bet. Yeah, banker one. Oh yeah, and the tie. The tie's uh, good, but good for money, but you're probably not gonna... Are you really not gonna let me bet on the banker? Is this a different kind of Baccarat that I'm familiar with? Why bet? What am I missing here? Five dollars, except... Ah, okay, place bet. Yeah, bet on the banker. Oh, okay, I'm just getting the controls down. I'm giving you like a blind run of this, so I have no no preconceived notions before walking in. Like, I mean, Baccarat is Baccarat. I know it's spelled Baccarat, and I've said Baccarat in the day, but it is Baccarat, or closer to that. I know that nines are good. Well, bank won, which means we won. I bet on the banker, didn't I? I thought I bet the banker. What happened? I'm going to do that again, because I thought I bet the banker. One last time. Done. Okay, I must have hit speed bet instead of done. That's okay. The controls are a little convoluted, but I didn't read the instruction manual. Because chances are, that time, I would have won. Anyways, that's the, that's the uh, Baccarat for you. I mean, if you're into this game, I suppose it serves its purpose. So let's uh, go back to the lobby. Play some more of these games. So far it seems alright, nice and flashy. What's Pi Gao Poker? Let's just jump in and... See if we can't figure it out. Again, I could be reading through the manual and stuff. However, it's hard to say. If you went to pick this game up at a used game dealership anywheres, you might not be able to have the instruction manual. You might not be fortunate enough. That's a speed bet for this whatever this Pi Gao poker is. <laughs> I want a dealer that can bet like that. Um... Select two cards for the backhand. Okay, then press play. I'll take the ace and this joker, I guess. Oh, or am I throwing those away? Uh, okay, in which case... Let's throw away the four and the eight. Can I throw away more stuff? Yeah, let's throw those away. Done. Okay, it won't let me. So let's get rid of the eight and the four. Done. In order to stand a better chance of winning at this game, you need to balance a high and low hand. How sort of arrange your cards as follow? High hand, pair of aces. Low hand, ten, eight, high. 
So am I just going for ace high, basically? I'm not sure I understand this game. So I am going to move on. Because I've never seen this game in any casinos I've ever frequented. What are the game settings? Coaching on. Yeah, let's leave it on. Automatic lose and invalid hand. Yeah, let's leave that off. Hand, dealer hand animations. I could turn those off anyways. I kind of like them. They're, they're PS excellent. Let's return to the lobby. I'm not too thrilled about this game, but I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it. If you know what Pie Guy Poker is. Spanish 21. I don't know what that... I don't know what any of these games are, but for what it's worth, if you're looking for a Caesar's Palace experience, I'm guessing this is uh, quite adequate. Playing all these new games. Oh, bonus payoffs. 21, 21, speed bet. 6, 7, 8, 7, 7, 7. So what, I'm trying to get... Oh, it's like... It's like Blackjack? Uh... I'm gonna stand on that 16. Okay. Okay, dealer must draw to soft 17. Cool. So it seems essentially like blackjack, but a little different. Oh, Spanish 21. Of course it's blackjack. It has 21 in the name. We got five. We got four. I'm definitely going to hit on that if there's a J, if there's a J showing. Got to hit. That's, I'm going to stand on that. What do ties do? Is this like dealer wins? Oh, it's a push. So I just get my money back. That's fine. One more and let's, uh, let's move on to another gambling game. Yeah, I'd never given this a try growing up. I didn't play tons of gambling games growing up. I would mostly just play casino games that were held within RPGs or whatnot. But if you're looking for legit gambling experiences, there's all kinds of them on all sorts of different systems. I have some PS2 ones ready for you. I think I have some GameCube ones as well. And of course, this PlayStation one. Did I, did I stand on a 7 and win? I didn't even mean to, but... In any case, let's return to the lobby. We're kind of more of the same. In that regard. What's some red dog? I know I've heard red dog. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. But again, maybe the manual. Oh, evens. Uh, speed bet. Okay. I. Cards are equal. Another card will be dead. If it's the same... The house pays 11 to 1, otherwise it's a push. Oh, so if it gets another 6, you win a bunch of money. Okay, so this is... Alright, this is kind of an automatic game then. Alright. Oh, so if it's 3 aces, you get 5 to 1. I think I understand this game. I could get behind this, it's like totally random chance. But it's way simpler to understand than back row. Spread is 1, which pays 5 to 1. I don't know, let's bet. Five bucks. Five more bucks. Done. What is that good? Oh, it needs oh if it was an eight. I might I can get I'm getting this now. Alright. So whatever the middle card is needs to be between whatever you drew. So why is there one and eleven? That's what I don't understand. You gotta play a few more of these, they're pretty quick. Seven Seven and nine, so we need an eight. I'm done. Gotta play a few more of these. Let's just speed through them here. I like this game though. I'd like to I'd like to try this at a casino sometime. A king. Okay, so it's a push. Come on, give me something I can sink my teeth into, like a spread that I can... Just to see. Queen. 
Okay, queen and an eight. Spread is three, which pays two to one. Uh, let's bet 25 bucks. Big money, big prizes. I love it. Done. Which is, which is in it. Two to one. All right, so that's red dog. I sort of understand it now. Oh, the number's the spread. I know what the evens and everything. Three of a kind is 11 to one. One more, just so I can read the thing. Deuce of spades. Okay, so a seven, the spread. One to one. That's the only thing, like, whoop de do. Like, I'll get my money back, but... So that's what the evens are. But hey, you're you're likely to win your money back. Oh, the other ones are ties. Cons, ties, pair, tie. All right, I'm done with that, but I liked that one. Well, I certainly like the variety in this game. They're not kidding, there's plenty of games. We're still on the card games. It's gonna wind up being like a 20 minute episode. I didn't really mean for it to be, but it's gonna be, if not more than that. But hey, won't be doing a won't be doing a live stream tonight. It's Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. That's what I'll be doing, celebrating, honoring the patron St. Patrick. Speed bet. So Casino War. What is this? Dealer shows a two of clubs. I got five of clubs, so I won. Is this high low? Is this simply high low? Six of spades, king of clubs, seems to be. I wonder what ha well, I was going to say, what happens if you get the same, well, if you get the same number with different suits, does it, well, it's not going to be the same suit. I sincerely doubt it. Well, this one's pretty straightforward. I'm into it. I didn't realize you could actually just gamble like that. I didn't know this was like a, a sanctioned gambling game, high-low, which is called Casino War. Well, it is war, but it's Casino War, I understand now. That's all of those. Well, uh, we could go to the table games, but let's just do some slot machines first. These will be quick. These will be quick and easy, I think. Aggressive Fruit, yeah, 50 cent slots, sure. Let's see if... I usually, like, like I said, I won $50 on slots the other day. But it's, it's all about the bonus games. I happen to get a five in a row, however. Oh, let's... Did I cash out? I didn't mean to cash out. I don't understand why I can't just go to max bet. It just glosses right over it. How many credits will it take? As many as I'm willing to put in it. I want to see if I can go over a hundred. I am curious. 101. Let's, let's spin that wheel. Oh, it's like, ha I don't like these slots. The ones that are, you only have to get the one in the middle. I've never had any luck with these. I've tried them a few times. I've done like a few $20 spins before. Occasionally, uh, five dollar spins. Oh, you can bet max now. Sure, let's do it. One more, but I'm not a fan of these slots. I wouldn't recommend playing them, even if I win right here, which I didn't. I return to lobby. Yeah, that's fine. I will. I will relinquish those coins. It's not like it's real coins. So these might be extremely basic slots. In which case, I can't really recommend the slots. At least if there's like the diagonals and stuff, this might be more my alley. Spin that wheel. Halloween themed. Yeah, let's, let's keep moving. Not thrilled to bits with the slots so far. Unless, like I said, I much prefer slot games that have potential for a bonus. 
Even though, like I said, the other day, I got, I just happened to get five in a row. It's like, oh, $50? Cash out. Perfect. It's another one of these, but let's, let's just do... Who would we be if we didn't do it once? So... It's telling me I need to bet more to maximize my jackpot. But maybe I just want to casually play. Which is actually what happened. I wasn't doing, like, max bet. Because usually when I'm trying to win big on the slots, I'm like, alright, max bet, max bet. But this time I was just kind of playing it casually, and I just so happened to get five in a row. The thing is, you bet less, you have more chances to win. Unless you have more money to spend. No matter what, the less you bet, the more chances you have to win. It's a num Gambling's a numbers game. But you, best let, you bet less, you have a chance to win less. Depends what your goals are. I'm not looking to retire with gambling. It's more, you know, for fun. I'm anything but a professional gambler. But, you know, I'm not going to sneeze at, you know, $50. Again, this seems like another lame, lame sauce slots. Because it's only just the straight along slots. Okay, so for how impressed I was with the card games, uh, the slots, I'd say don't, unless you're like a hardcore slot player, don't waste your time here. You'd be better off playing slots for Atari 2600. Like it's not as fancy, but at least you can do like, you know, diagonals and stuff. I know bonus games. Bonus games are half the fun with the slots for me. I feel like the odds of winning on these are about as equal to physically in a casino. So those, there's, there were the slots. Easy come, easy go. Video games. Oh, it's probably like video poker and whatnot. Let's go with the table games first. Got roulette and craps. Well, roulette was my game for a while. I may as well go through my roulette strategy again. It's been a little while. Unless you've just been binge-watching these, and you've probably heard me talk about it a couple of times, so I'm going to go through it again. Set my bets. Okay, so... Where did I speed bet to? I didn't even see. Well, this is kind of like to get a benchmark anyway, so what else? We got 23, I believe? 29. Why did I actually bet up? Seriously? Oh. Uh, bet unit. So we got a 29 black. Uh, so because it was black, let's bet on, on red for three. We bet one last time. Normally I just double, but we went to three. So done. Because, uh, statistically... Since it was black last time, it's more likely to be red this time. Because you know how statistics work, there's no guarantees, but statistically, it's more likely. But we did get another black one. So it's like, a 1 in 2 chance of getting one black, and then that happening is a 1 in 4 chance. And that happening again will then become a 1 in 8 chance. So let's bet double. And done. Eventually... The idea is you keep betting double until you get your money back. But the thing is with roulette, there's any roulette table I've ever seen, there's an upper threshold on how much you could bet. Otherwise, uh, the house isn't guaranteed to win. Well, they're not guaranteed to win, but the odds would be stacked in your favor, which most casinos aren't really into. It's usually slightly in their favor. Now, if I can see the numbers and whatnot, I would go one step beyond that with statistics. Say I had two blacks, but also, no, let's say I have a black and a red, but then both of those numbers were evens, then I would, I would bet odd, because then odd is more likely. And s same with like 1 in 18, like you just kind of balance all the odds around. Once stuff gets to about like, something hasn't come up in about five times, statistically it should come up next. So it's, so statistically, you can kind of make the game work in your favor, but if you play roulette for long enough, 
the odds will catch up with you. So I wouldn't ever really recommend playing roulette for any length of time. Roulette, I find, is better for just trying to go in, win a quick $20 and leave. But you might immediately lose like $100. That's happened to me before. I've gone to a roulette table, lost $150 in about five, six spins, however many it was. That was it. Easy come, easy go. Now, I won that the last time I was at the casino, so it's not like I lost it. Well, I did, but it's... I broke even, in a sense. That's how I justify it, anyways. Now, here we have craps, which I really don't know how to play. It's a little above my head. I know you want sevens. Uh, big six. Let's bet on the six. Done. You should have bet on the pass line. Conservative right better. Okay. What's that, four? Well, I didn't get a six. Easy four. Um, um, don't pass. Let's have a bet on the pass. Done. Should have placed full odds on the pass line. Oh, uh, so I have a conservative right coach here. Am I going to have a, like a liberal coach at any point? Regular five. But 10 on the field. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Craps isn't my game. It's a crap shoot. Okay, I was gonna say, it doesn't look like I'm losing money, but 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 my other my other tokens are still there. That was aggressive. Easy eight. Well, let's uh, let's just return to the lobby. That's fine. That's craps for you, though. It seems like reasonable craps. Those are the table games. Now let's finish off with the video games. We got video poker, poker challenge, video keynote. Let's start out with basic video poker. Ah, we got a variety of them. Well, let's just do let's do a couple of each. Now I like video poker. Video poker always has the same odds. But what you have to pay attention to when you're in the casinos is the payouts are different. So you want to try to find a casino with the highest payout. Because you can't really stack these in your favor. Okay, so I want to hold these aces. And uh, deal. Three of a kind. Okay, so I need two fair at least. Two pair. I win. Well, I'm going to gonna return. Now I like how there's four different varieties of video poker. Tens are better. I generally go for jacks are better, but let's do tens are better. Because generally you can win uh, pretty simply this way. <laughs> Just keep throwing money in. Uh, credits. Okay. Okay, so since it's tens are better... Oh, I, ha I, have, I have a three of a kind. What am I doing? Deal. Neat. But let's, uh, let's do one more. Well, I got two of these, so... Clean it up. Well, I mean, we're... it's hot right now. Let's... Keep playing. Because usually at least will come out even if you play these well. Should have kept... Oh, there was a pair? I didn't see the pair. I got too excited by the jack. But anyways. Cut out of that. What was the other one? Joker's Wild? Deuce's Wild. I don't mind a little bit of Deuce's Wild. Like, I mean, you get four deuces in anything, that's five of a kind. 
Let's see how the pay the payout works. Para eights. I'm not sure what the, the threshold is. Oh, I got a deuce. Three of a kind. Do I need three of a kind though? Yeah, that's the lowest one. That's the only thing about deuces. You have to get a higher number. So yeah, that's why I chose uh, jacks are better or ten, tens are better. I'll do one of jacks or better just to say that we did it. But it's basically tens are better. The odds are probably, payout's probably a little bit higher. But this is more my style. I don't really find this offensive, this video poker here. Video game, got some video poker. There we go. Three of a kind. Uh, we, got, we don't have jacks or better, but we don't really have much choice here, so that's fine. But yeah, you get the basic idea of that. Now let's do some Kino, which I like playing the odd bit of Kino. I don't really have a strategy for it other than pick the exact same numbers every time. Oh, multi-ticket, what? Is auto spotter just... Never heard of auto spotter. Is that just you put it automatically chooses your numbers because if that's what it is i don't like it i don't like the idea of it the edge 32 or inner 32 numbers are automatically picked for if you win you win if the computer draws either most of the numbers or very few of them oh i have a little bit of let's go for inner 32 okay So I chose inner 32. I mean, I kind of get the idea. So I should have gotten... Sorry. Oh, I understand. I'm not really too uh, keen on this one. Let's go back to the, the traditional keynote. This just isn't my uh, cup of tea. There's a, there's no lard in it. I like my tea with lard in it. So multi-ticket, this is the kino I know and love. Like I said, I don't have like specific numbers, but whatever numbers I choose should be the same ones. I hope it remembers what I choose for numbers. What's this truck? What's this crap? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, straight ticket. I don't know what those other are. I don't really care. 3, 17, 34, 39, 48, 57, 64, 77, 52, 69. 36? How many can I choose? How keno is this keno? Can I just choose all the numbers? This seems like a... Must stop at 20. Yeah, okay. Let's try our luck. I'd like it if this Kino was a little faster. It's, it's a bit of a slow plod, but... Depends what you're into. At least it keeps the numbers for you. Yeah, because... Statistically, it's more likely that if you keep the same numbers, that eventually all those numbers will be hit. Otherwise, if you change the numbers every time, you effectively change your odds. Because the chances of the numbers falling down the exact same time ever are, like, almost impossible. Let's get out of here. Kino is a bit of a slow, slow go. It's a poker challenge. Stud, hold them, double stud, double hold them. All right. They're not kidding. There's a lot of games in this. Which, uh, hey. Didn't expect that, but if you're looking for a, a gambling experience, this is a pretty solid one as far as that's concerned. So we got five card stud. Select a hand. Oh, I select a hand. Um, hmm. Let's go with this one. It's like, at least could do a... Feasibly could do a straight. It's not like we have any pairs or anything.
Okay. I sort of, sort of get it. Hmm. You've not picked the best hand. The winning hand percentages are... Why is three the best hand? Oh, because the ace and the queen, I guess. Well, fine then. Better win. Did the one that I picked originally win? I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, let's return to the lobby. Don't really care for that one. Let's do some Hold'em. I love me some Texas Hold'em. Or as they call it in Texas, Hold'em. Oh, I select a hand again. These all suck. Every last one of these I would fold on if I got dealt. Like that, you can't even get a straight. This one, you, could, you can't get a straight with any of these. These are all garbage. Let's, let's try that again. But hopefully with like better choices. Okay, so a nine ten is at least something. There we go. Good. Well, there's already two eights on the table, which means another eight's least likely to come up. Uh, you could get a straight here. Could get a straight here, but let's go with this one. It says hand two is the best one, but I still won, so nuts to you, game. And what are these double ones about? Oh, I pick two. Well, totally pick this one. And... Oh, the one with the ace. The hand two is... Yeah, I guess hand two is a better straight probability, even. Don't chase straights. I'm a hopeless romantic when it comes to straights. Double or deal? Double. What's double? Your hand only had a 5% win rate. I wouldn't recommend doubling unless you have over 50% wins. Well, we still won. Let's do one more. Well, the one with the pair already. And they're going to say this one because of the straight. No? Best hand. You picked it. So I picked the best ones. Oh, so I don't actually pick two. I misunderstood, though. Uh, double. That's fine. This one I'm not so keen on. And last, but maybe least. Uh, double hold them. Double or nothing hold them, apparently. Can't even bat, bat max. Hmm. I'm gonna choose this. I know you think two is the best because it could get a straight, but don't chase straights, don't chase flushes, unless, unless you really have to, you're probably gonna be disappointed. Unless it's all you have. If you have like a two and a nine, and they're both the same color, then yeah, maybe choose a straight. Other Or a flush, I mean. Other than that, don't waste your money. But like I said, I'm a hopeless romantic, especially when it comes to flushes. These are all garbage. This is the b most likely one because of a flush. How's hand four the most Because it has a ten? Is that why? 
I mean, I guess. Uh, double. Alright, not too keen on this one either. But let's return to the lobby. What are the stats? Plays... Oh, that's neat. I feel like this game would be great as a, like, a tool to teach you how to gamble, like, with it. Gamble, but make it less gambly, like, more uh, strategic. She's a player, I don't care about these. It's like, why do I bother cashing out? Alright, so... Let's, uh... Just go back to roulette as I give my final verdict for this this game. So, Caesar's Palace, 2000, Millennium Gold Edition. For a yay or a nay for a gambling experience, I have to give it a yay. Like, I know I said that I wasn't keen on a lot of the games, but there's so many, you're gonna find ones that you like and that you enjoy. And then, because of like the stats and whatnot, you can figure out what games are the best for you. So when you go to a legit casino, you would have a better chance of uh, being victorious. And it's otherwise, like, quite pleasant of a gambling experience. It controls well. Like, there's a whole manual here. It tells you, it teaches you the games and whatnot. I didn't go through it, but... But to end this off, let's bet 100... on double zeros. Probably not going to happen. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but it's video game gambling. Let's try our luck. So we are done. Yeah, it controls reasonably. So yeah, I especially recommend the slots. The slots are a bust, if you ask me. Not a fan of the slots in this game, but it's slots. What do you want from slots or slots? What do you want? But otherwise, it's been an all-in-all, -all, like I said, uh, robust video game gambling experience. And hey, I paid $5 for it. Five Canadian dollars, that's like 14 cents Canadian. You could spend $5 on a round of roulette. Easy. Especially if you bet zero. So thank you for joining me for this edition of the Video Game Gambler, this extra long edition. Uh, join me next time. Did we actually land on a zero? Hee hee! Go figure. What a way to end this episode of Video Game Gambler. You know, you just never know. You just never know. Sometimes you get a zero. What are the- what? Wow. I wonder if this is the game taking pity on me, or if I just happen to nab a zero there. So, irregardless of that, my verdict is a yay. And thank you for joining me. If you typically join me for my live streams, I will be back on tomorrow for Mega Man X7 at, eight, at approximately 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So once again, thank you for joining me for Video Game Gambler. Thanks for taking a gamble on the Video Game Gambler. I will have a scratch ticket Sunday tomorrow as well, because I do like to do gambling things. So join me next time and uh, gamble intelligently and responsibly. <laughs>